Hi, I'm T. Kent Nelson, and I want to welcome you to the Armas Kali, or the Weapons Curriculum of KSK Martial Arts. Um, first, let's look at the, the name Armas Kali and what it means. Armas in Filipino just translates to means weapon. Now, I've also heard that uh, in Spanish, uh, Armas can also be translated into armory, which is just a place which holds weapons. So we look at the word Armas as weapons. Now, uh, Kali is actually made up of two words. Ka comes from the word kumot, uh, and, and kumot just basically means hand, and then li comes from the word li hook, and li hook uh, means motion, so kali means hand motion. So armas kali literally means weapon hand motion. We're just teaching you how to use weapons. We're teaching you the motion, whether it be angle based or target based or however, whatever sort of training approach we're using, we're teaching you how to understand the use of weapons how to recognize lines of attack, how to recognize angles coming at you, um, how to move, deflect, block, disarm, how to strike back, how to lock, all sorts of different things to do inside of it. Um, but anyways, that is the Armas Kali. Also, uh, there are a lot of systems which contribute to the Armas Kali. Uh, I would say probably probably 90% of the Armas Kali is, uh, is Filipino martial arts based. Although there is, uh, there is some influence from Kabri Kabrong, which uh, comes from Thailand, and also from Kobido, which comes from Okinawa. Um, we have several, several different systems which have kind of influenced and inspired us over the years and still continue to. Uh, I'd like to give some special acknowledgement though and say that um, uh, the La Costa Inasano blend probably has inspired uh, or probably has directly influenced 70 maybe 70 to 80 percent of the curriculum. So much of it has come through, uh, through Guru Dan and Asano. And uh, Guru Dan and Asano excuse me, himself will tell you um, that his curriculum came from many, many teachers as well. He had over 30 Filipino martial arts teachers. Uh, so I feel very, very lucky and very blessed to have inherited so much of this material from yeah. him. But I wanted to give specific acknowledgement to Guru Dan and, uh, and just state that you know, he's kind of the person that really got Filipino martial arts going in the United States. And if it wasn't if it wasn't for Guru Dan, we wouldn't really have um, the amazing curriculum that we have in the Armas Kali. So uh, I just want to make sure that, that those respects are given, and that you, as the viewer and as the student, understand that as well. Uh, so really quickly, I want you to understand. Just like in the empty hand, we broke it down into five areas, and the weapons I've broken into five areas as well. The five areas we look at are impact weapon, edge weapon, puncture weapon, projectile weapon, and flexible weapon. So when we talk about um, an impact weapon, uh, obviously this, this comes along with the stick, right? Anything, any kind of blunt object that we hit uh, onto a person, that's an impact weapon. An edge weapon is anything that uh, comes to an edge that we slash with, right? So, <clears throat> you know, a, a knife, a sword, an axe, anything like that, a machete, a bolo, anything that has an edge that we slash with. Puncture weapon is anything that has a tip. So we study things on how to puncture and stab and thrust. Uh, projectile weapon is anything that we throw. So this could be a knife, this could be a stick, it could be a rock, it could be a salt and pepper shaker, it could be change, it could be water, it could be sand, it could be whatever it is that, that we throw to distract an opponent and either facilitate an entry or facilitate an escape. And then a flexible weapon is anything that's flexible. This could be uh, a rope, a chain, uh, a malong, a sarong, um, uh, a t-shirt even or a jacket, anything that's flexible that we can use. So those are kind of the five main areas that we break it into. Impact, edged, projectile, um, puncture, and flexible. Uh, and remember that you, know, you, can take a, you can take a sword and it can, it can be multiples of those areas, right? So a sword, we can thrust with it so it becomes puncture, you can slash with it so it becomes edge, you can hit with the puño so it becomes impact, you can throw a sword, Right, so it becomes projectile and all of a sudden we're four out of five areas right there. So it's important that you understand those, the, that breakdown as well. So One more quick note I wanted to make is that you might notice that some of the footage um, in the Kali looks a little bit different than the other footage. Uh, the reason for this is when we started this project filming, uh, we actually started it uh, sometime around 2010. Um, and the cameras that we were using at the time were much different than the cameras we eventually had access to. Uh, I would say... That, that probably only about uh, maybe five or six percent of the footage that you might see on here comes from that, that, that older footage. So what you might see is also um, 
clipped from some of the previous videotapes that we had out, for instance, uh, some of the, uh, like the affiliate curriculum uh, single stick and, and double stick videos that originally came out. We thought a lot of the material is still exactly, exactly the same. Um, and at the time, it was the same cameras that we were using. So we decided to take that material um, and kind of rearrange it a little bit differently and, and put it in the online learning center. So if you own some of those older videos, you might notice some of that familiar footage come up. But that's only a very small percent of what's available. For the most part, uh, I would say 95% of all the footage that you're going to find on this on online learning center was filmed exclusively just for this online learning center. Um, so if you kind of notice some change between uh, video quality or camera quality, it's because there was a change in cameras and equipment used over time. So uh, enjoy your training.